In French, the word folie means madness. In English, the word folly means foolishness. But in matters of architecture, a folly is a building constructed primarily for decoration, but suggesting through its appearance some other purpose, so extravagant that it transcends the range of usual garden buildings. This is a picture of my son and I in the folly at Monticello. It is a reconstruction based on architectural findings and the foundation and Jefferson's personal notes describing it as he overlooked his gardens and the mountaintop vista. This book is about another man's folly. It is the exceptional houses of Furlow Gatewood with the foreword by Bunny Williams. One Man's Folly by Julia Reed. Furlow Gatewood may not be a name as well known to some as other interior designers, but he prefers it that way. It was only at the request of his friend and designer, Bunny Williams, that he agreed to do this book. Furlow Gatewood is an antiques expert, and for over 40 years, he has been the associate of John Rosselli, the esteemed antiques dealer in New York. Gatewood and Rosselli are close friends, and in 1980, together, they helped build a home furnishings empire. They created a very successful line of furniture and lighting. Furlow Gatewood has been described as a one-of-a-kind classic, and in this book, the reader is given a clear presentation as to why. He presents his magical private enclave for the first time This personal property is located in Americus, Georgia, and it belonged to his family. He has worked to meticulously restore and add other intimate dwellings to the property. One in particular is this splendid mid-19th century Gothic house that he calls the Cuthbert House. It was sewn in half and transported over 65 miles through Georgia. Gatewood said, anywhere I travel, I'm always looking at houses. This one was going to be torn down, and I just couldn't let that happen. Gatewood has several other structures on the property, and many of them were rescued from demolition. They exemplify various architectural traditions from the 19th century, Gothic to Palladian. Gatewood's seductive and hospitable domicile is exquisite and timeless. The clever end pages of the book serve as a map of the property, from the main house to the other homes and small structures that surround it.
Although Furlow Gatewood is 91 years old and retired, he still makes regular trips out of the country to buy antiques. He has devoted his life to beauty, saving history, his dogs, and the love of design. One Man's Folly, The Exceptional Houses of Furlow Gatewood by Julia Reed is 225 pages and is published by Rizzoli. This book is a gift to the eyes and to the heart. It retails for $60. The next book we will review is Interiors, The Greatest Rooms of the Century. This book covers 300 designers and 400 of their rooms, all in 447 pages. This one may take a while and I can't wait. Please join me for Interiors, The Greatest Rooms of the Century.